Imagine being able to interactively practice your timing using a MIDI instrument with super helpful visual feedback that tells you exactly how accurate you are and whether you're being early or late with your hits. It's also got a challenge mode that will keep increasing the difficulty the more accurate you are. This is the MIDI Rhythm Trainer by Aaron Talmore and it's a very fun JS plugin that you can use to practice your rhythm. In this video I'll show you how it works and as a bonus I'll show you how to make it work with a live instrument like your electric guitar. Let's get started. So the way this works is pretty simple. I'm gonna make a new track and I'm gonna call this MIDI. And in here I'm gonna load the first thing in the chain which will be MIDI Rhythm Trainer. And if you don't have this it's probably because you don't have Repack installed. I do have the instructions to install it in the description so check that out. So once you have that open it and you can expand it to see the 10 minute training graph. So after this plugin you're gonna load any anything that you would want to hear yourself through. So in this case, I'm just going to load a piano, like this simple piano works. And I'm going to set my input to MIDI and record on my track so I can actually hear myself. So once you have sound, you should see this yellow thing at the bottom right. That means it's reading your MIDI and it's working fine. And now the way this works is just all you need to do is just enable your metronome in Reaper and press play. That's it. It's going to be synced with your Reaper project. So all you need to do now, just play to the beat. And it's as simple as that. And there's also a lot of fun things here to customize your practice experience. So for example, you can select how many beats you want to practice, like how long you want it before it turns back around. Uh, it's good to leave it at four unless you're doing like really fast tempo. And next we have lanes, but I'm going to touch on this later. Arrow bound. So this is how difficult you want it to have. So for example, if I have it like this and I press either too late or before the green line, it's not going to sound. So it's pretty much like when in Guitar Hero, you know, you miss a note and it just doesn't play. So that's a really good feedback to understand like if you're doing a good job or not. And you will see that sometimes the notes are red or blue. If it's either red, it means that it's late. And if it's blue, it means that you're too early. So that's also a really good way to understand like what's going on with your practice. Next, we have what is probably my favorite feature and it's called Auto String Error Bound. That means that as you play, it's going to keep shrinking the more accurate you are. So that means it's going to just get more and more difficult. Check this out. You see, I'm being too early in there, so that's why I'm getting a lot of blue notes. But yeah, it's so fun how it keeps shrinking and the difficulty keeps increasing. And there's still some more fun things in here. For example, I really enjoy the 10 minute training graph, especially the hit rate. It makes it feel like Char Hero and I love that a lot. And another really cool thing is that you can practice your swing. You can just click and drag this however you want. And that's a really, really fun thing to do. If you click this button here, you are, have access to more op options. For example, you have the metronome in here, which I would advise if you start doing things like this, because you want to hear what's going on here. And for the click, this is actually using your MIDI instrument as a click. So whatever note that you have set, it's going to use that note as a click. So if I play this, so that's with swing at 43, you can practice that. You can also adjust the face if that's something that you want to do. More things here, you can adjust the velocity of the click. Um, let's say that we want to use another note for the click, maybe a high note. It's going to listen to your notes and I'm going to use that. And increase the velocity if you want to hear it louder. Now let's put the swing back and play with the divisions, which is another fun thing. You can divide your four beats into whatever divisions you want. For example, in four beats, you can divide it by four and that will be your quarter notes and that will be just straightforward. But now the fun thing begins when you divide it by five. So now you have four, five over four. So you can practice your polyrhythms in here. 
I love that. It's so fun to do. You can do sits. If you had a MIDI drum kit, this would be really, really fun to do. So divided by seven. I love that a lot. It's so, so fun. With eight, you get eight notes, which is a straightforward as well, just faster. Or you can do 16 notes like this, if I can play that fast. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> So now about the lanes, that's honestly a really advanced feature, like I wouldn't use it, but it's really cool that it's there. <laughs> so it's for example, if you want to do in your right hand and left hand, you separate your input filters and practice different rhythms for each hand. For example, you can select the starting note and the end note uh, for one of the lanes. And then the other lane you can do just half and half of your keyboard. Or if you're doing maybe a drum kit, you can set it so each part of your kit is doing a different rhythm. So that's definitely very advanced and I wouldn't do that, but that's really, really cool that it's there. Now, what if you wanted to use your actual guitar for this? I really, really wanted this to work and I managed to kind of get it to work, but it's not so good. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. So I got my guitar in here and I'm gonna show you how I set this up. So basically I just need something that just sends a MIDI note every time I play a note in my guitar, right? So I was thinking we could definitely use Reagate for this. So load Reagate and place it first in the chain right here. And now I'm gonna use the preset that is called snare to MIDI. This is gonna get us close to what we want because this one sends a MIDI note every time it opens the gate. So in here, I like to set this to zero so it's very responsive. Hold about 60 and release. It will be like that. The filter can be around there. So now if I play my guitar, I should hear a piano, just one note in the piano. Let me change to the actual input, so it'll be... So now we have MIDI every time I play my guitar. I suggest putting a piano or something so you can hear how responsive your MIDI is. For the threshold, I like to set it so it just barely touching the peaks. So I, I find that this works better with just staccato playing, like really strong hits. That's responsive enough and I think totally usable. But yeah, you can only do kind of palm mute staccato and strong hits. If you're doing sustains and soft notes, it doesn't work too well. Sometimes like, if you want to hear your guitar, just up the dry knob slider in here and bypass your piano. So, so we got everything working correctly. So you should see the yellow thing every time we play a note in the guitar. So let's put this back to... Let's actually do eight divisions so we can practice our eight notes. I'm gonna do out of shrink and I'm gonna test my skills on the guitar. You see, I was playing late, so I compensated for that and started playing better. And I just realized if you enable your instrument in here and you play to the beat, and you get the right note, you're gonna hear the piano in this case whenever you hit a good note and whenever you play out of uh, out of the beat you're not gonna hear the piano so it's a good feedback but yeah that's kind of my workaround let me know if you can think of something better and if you have a MIDI instrument and that's your thing that's a really good way to practice your timing and it's a really fun experience so hopefully that's fun 
Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.